Range of motion testing is another way you can make something simple, like turning your head and evaluating how well you can do that into something more interactive that gives the patient real-time feedback to where their deficit is. So let's take a look at the neck, for example. You can apply these principles to any body part. Putting on the head strap, you can have someone centered at the flag. I'm just sitting on a rolling stool. Let's have them look at the center and let's calibrate that to the center by aiming the laser right where they're looking and just turning their head left and right. Now this is obviously going to track well beyond the flag here, but even in this position, you could pick a little target and put a sticky pad on a wall and just hold their trunk still and visualize if they're limited in one direction but not the other. Let's say in this case the patient was limited in rotation left. On a rolling stool or in standing, I could have them aimed with the seat a little bit to the right and then trying to rotate left to get to a number, let's say the three. Let's now go beyond the three. Let's see if we can really push it and get further and further each time. If you want to kind of test their max and then see if they can get past that, a good way might be with a chair, have them rotate fully in one direction. Let's say that's all they can get. I can then come in and bring this laser all the way to the center and then bring them out of that. So now they're really just trying to get to the center or beyond. The only cue you have to be careful with here is just making sure the, the client isn't rotating their torso. You can simply hold their shoulders lightly or just give them a cue to keep the rest of their body still. So again, you can apply that to any direction um, in terms of rotation, right, left, up, down. You can use different numbers and targets to make this more interactive with your clients.